Now this is the Lone Star Outlet point where the water is coming in from underneath the river and in the, in the channel that's dug the storm overflow and this is the most I've ever seen. Well, I've hardly ever seen it flowing where you couldn't see the concrete underneath but now this is a big flow because of all the water that's been stored in the underground tank and so they're releasing it and I think when it's, when it's released then they pump it the other direction and then it goes back into the river to keep the river flowing so in other words they got so much in there now they got to release it this way and it goes down eventually into the Gulf of Mexico but uh, I'll have to check on that. I'll have to read that again and see. But it, it makes sense that they would be pumping it back up and recycling the water into the river the other direction so that we're not wasting water. But uh, who knows? And this is uh, Monday, Memorial Day, 27, May 27, 2013. And it's probably, I don't know, close to 1, a little after 1 o'clock now afternoon and there's I've seen cormorants with fish so this is prime fishing fish hunting season because the, the flowing waters the rushing waters wash the bigger fish that are bite size down they can't stay in their home area or whatever they get washed down with the flow so there's a cormorant there just underneath the spillway the small spillway it's just one one I don't know what was that one another one just had a fish and then further up towards uh, Cesar Chavez Bridge or underneath there. There was a fish that we watched for a while, or, or uh, the cormorant, and uh, eventually it swallowed. It didn't toss it up in the air like the video I got last year showed, but uh, it did play with it for a while, and then eventually just swallowed it, angled it up, angled its neck up, and swallowed it whole. And the other people on the other side were closer, and they said it was a small catfish. About maybe eight inches long. Okay, enough of this.